heterogeneous elements in the list consolidate heterogeneous types. For example, imagine a student record or an employee record. It consists of different attributes like name, which is a character, age, which is a numeric, salary, maybe a numeric. So different kinds of variety of elements you have. So all these uh, are heterogeneous. So you can't uh, uh, gather heterogeneous types into a single array. As in C program, uh, array does not hold heterogeneous types. So to hold heterogeneous types, uh, we require some other structure, isn't it? Here also, we have a structure called the list. The list stands, uh, list is a heterogeneous array type. So I will uh, copy the commands uh, from this text, text editor. Otherwise, it will be time consuming if I type the entire command. So this is how you can create a list. Uh, you create a list called employee. So it is created using the key, keyword list list. And then I gave uh, a vector names which is consisting of character vector names Anna and Mary then another component of the list is a vector named age which is a numeric vector having the ages of two persons another one is a salary vector which has uh, the salaries of two employees and qualified is a boolean vector so four different kinds of vectors one is a boolean vector two are numeric vectors another one is a character vector so I am consolidating all these different kinds of vectors into a single list by using the keyword list and the name of the list is EMB. Now, if I type EMB, you can see that uh, the different components of the list are uh, displayed. So the components are displayed as dollar, dollar names, dollar age, dollar salary. So this dollar symbol indicates the different components of the list, which means that you can access the components of the list by typing dollar, list name, dollar component. For example, if I want to print the names of uh, the employees, then I can type the list name, which is EMB dollar names because names is the name of the vector storing the names so emp is the name of the list so i simply type emp dollar names it will print out uh, the names of the employees alone which is anna and mary so as simple as that so you can have uh, you can play with uh, different uh, operators in list so you can type a question mark uh, operator to get uh, the syntax for various uh, commands uh, that are applicable in list. Now we'll move on to metrics. So metrics is one more step ahead. So once we know what is an array or what is a vector, we can create a metrics. Metrics is actually a vector of vectors. It's actually a vector of column vectors arranged in different rows, you can say. Say for example, if I want to create a 10 by 3 metrics, then I can use the command like this. I can use the keyword metrics. I can use a keyword matrix. So I specify two arguments. I specify two arguments. So I'll show you. See, I have created a matrix theta with the first 30 elements. So C1 to 30 will create the first 30 elements vector and n row, which is the number of rows. So when creating matrix, uh, you have to specify the number of rows and columns. So here I specify 10 rows and three columns. And then uh, this by row equal true. By row equal true indicates that uh, you have to print the elements uh, row major. So if I um, if I skip this argument, it is printing by row column major. So we'll we'll see. For example, I simply give theta equal to matrix C1 to 30, n row equal to 10, and n equal to 3. We'll create a 10 by 3 matrix using the first uh, 30 elements. And if I display theta, it will show like this. See. Now, actually, it is uh, there's 10 rows and three columns. So it is showing uh, or it is filling in this order, row major. So one, two, three, four. For example, I want to display it like this. That is like uh, horizontally, column wise. Then I will give by row equal to or by code equal to whatever uh, means you can give by code equal to row. Or by default, I think it is false. So I have to give by row equal to false. There is no by call. You have to give by row. But put it as false. And if I type theta, why is it not displaying? Why is it not displaying? Is there an error?
or should I give it false? Or by a row equal true. Yeah, now it is printing uh, in row major. So actually, the concept is that uh, even though we are viewing like 10 by 3, it is actually treating the entire thing as a vector or a column vector. So by vector, we mean in linear algebra, in, uh, by vector, uh, we mean a column vector, isn't it? So here also, it is a column vector. It's actually a combination of three column vectors. That's it. So these are actually three column vectors. And by row, printing by row means it is actually filling the rows of all these column vectors initially. So by default, uh, by row is false which means that it will it will be filling in column major only column major means downwards because all these are column vectors this is the column vector 1 4 7 10 13 16 this is the column vector so it will be printing all the or it will be filling all the elements of the first column vector initially and then moving on to the second column vector that, like that if i want to print like this then i have to explicitly say by row equal to so by default it is false why it is false by default means it is following the linear algebra principle that's the simplest answer which i can give because in linear algebra, everything is a column vector. What are, when, whenever you say the keyword vector, by uh, default, it means it's a column vector. So when I have to specify it as a row vector, I have to put a transpose symbol. On top of the vector, I will put a transpose, WW transpose. So when I put W transpose, it means we are actually meaning it to be a, a row vector, not a column vector. So like the same idea is copied here, and that is why.